When I was a student pilot, I used to study pressure systems completely wrong. And it wasn't until I started learning it like this and really understanding why things happen when I really started to memorize the characteristics of pressure systems. So if you're a student pilot and you're struggling with characteristics of pressure systems, this video is for you. We're gonna start off with a high pressure system first. And how we wanna think of this is an area of high pressure is constantly trying to equalize with an area of low pressure. High chase is low. You're gonna hear this throughout your aviation career. High pressure systems are areas of decent sending clockwise rotating air that's moving outwards. It's moving clockwise because of the Coriolis effect. Because this air is descending, we think of it like a warm blanket where the warm blanket is just falling over the land. It's just descending air. It's very stable. And how we describe the stability is a stable lapse rate. That's when the air cools two degrees Celsius per thousand feet as you go up in elevation. And so when you see this two degrees per Celsius per thousand feet, we think very stable air, meaning no vertical development. A stable lapse rate, the textbook definition of a stable lapse rate is the atmosphere's ability to resist vertical development. So because this air is descending, it's pushing a lot of the contaminants down. And so we're going to get reduced visibility, which is a characteristic of a high pressure system. And I don't mean reduced visibility of like one statute mile visibility. I'm just saying you could see a lot of smog in the air or visibility might just be a little bit reduced. Because the stable lapse rate, we're going to get smooth flying conditions like very little or no turbulence. And we're also going to get stratus form, but clouds that don't have a ton of vertical development development because the stable lapse rate. Now with these clouds, we're going to get steady precipitation. Steady precipitation is where it just rains the entire day. It's not super violent. It just rains and it's kind of gloomy. And that's basically a high pressure system. Now, before I get into low pressure systems, if you're enjoying this content, I just released the entire P hack and study guide section on weather completely for free. A lot of people are struggling with that. If you want that free download, it's going to be linked in bio. Now for low pressure systems, it's kind of just going to be the opposite. It's inward air that's rotating counter clockwise and it's rising. Because this air is rising, we get a unstable lapse rate where the air cools more than two degrees per Celsius per thousand feet. An unstable lapse rate is the atmosphere's inability to resist vertical development. So with an unstable lapse rate, the type of clouds we're going to get have a lot of vertical development like towering cumulus clouds which produce thunderstorms. The three ingredients you need for a thunderstorm to form are rising air, unstable lapse rate, and humidity. So also with the unstable lapse rate, you get a lot of this rising air. We're going to get good visibility because it's pushing a lot of the contaminants up into the atmosphere. And also with the unstable lapse rate, we're going to get less favorable flying conditions. Could be turbulence, it could be rain, thunderstorms. And lastly, when it comes to precipitation, this is going to be showery precipitation, meaning it rains hard and then it stops. And that rains hard. Typical rain showers that come with thunderstorms. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, follow for more.